We really believe in the importance of increasing the resilience of our woodlands and our role as we see it is to, is to do that with uh, by, by growing native species only. So the first protocol is really increasing the resilience of our existing woodlands before we start adding anything else into that. I started this about three years ago um, and sort of spent the first two years getting used to growing and, and understanding what was involved. And this last season, we just had our first year of growing at scale. Uh, so we grew just under 10,000 trees. One of the other aspects that's really important for us is to share knowledge with other growers, with other uh, communities of interest, um, to try and maximise as much as possible the understanding and the skills needed to grow trees throughout Scotland. In order to be able to get good quality native trees and to make sure that we've got the right ones for the right place, you have to know where it's come from. It's much easier to manage it through uh, the interactions you have with local nurseries. You can buy an oak tree from France or you can buy an oak tree from the south of England. But actually, the best thing to do is buy an oak tree from your local area. But in order to achieve that, you've got to have people who know how to grow oak trees from, from acorns yeah. so that you can place an order for a oak tree plug. And I think yeah, it's the economics of the nurseries to be able to produce the trees, which is so important. Um, there's so much grant funding for actually planting the trees themselves that is anybody saying, hey, hey, where do we get these trees from? We're only really planning to plant native trees on the farm because we think that's the best way of increasing biodiversity, of encouraging the local uh, wildlife. We've converted the whole farm into um, a paddock grazing system and that's given us the opportunity to say, hey, how about planting more hedges and, and connecting the various sort of um, woodlands that we have. Um, so we've got sort of wildlife corridors bet between for things like owls and so forth. Um, so the more we can do to plant more trees, um, it is sort of going to encourage all of those, those wildlife aspects. I think what we're trying to do here is making a farm sustainable both financially and environmentally is normally one or the other and peer-to-peer -peer learning seems to be the only way I've found of trying to piece all the best ideas together to try to formulate an overall strategy to make that happen. I in particular have no experience in growing things or horticulture. I'm from a tropical country. <laughs> it's all been incredibly useful. We're set up as a social enterprise, it's really important. It's not just about growing trees, it's about the people around it, the stories around it, um, all the different ways that trees can be used and enjoyed and appreciated. And fundamentally, that really starts with understanding how, how to grow them. And you can only really do that by seeing, you know, for example, what it looks like in practice. It's giving you the motivation to actually um, go out and, and, and get these seeds and, and get them growing. It, it's one thing to think about, it's another thing actually seeing it happening. You say, hey, I can do that.